Hello. Um, I'm going to try and tell you three poems. Um, they're all around the subject of mental health, so I'm going to brighten the mood for you. And the first two specifically are about panic attacks. This one's called The Invisible Beast. It wraps its prodigious limbs around my chest, pulls inwards, suffocating me, buries its extremities beneath my ribcage, defeating the shield to restrict blood flow through my arteries. The invisible beast hangs dormant on my shoulders, awaiting one uneasy breath to convince me I feel smothered. Tears roll effortlessly. Abuse at my own hands, mirroring the way he used to stifle me. The numbness is a relief, but otherwise this. This would hurt if it was attention I wanted. There are easier ways than this all-consuming threat, brainwashing me to be an intro out. I long to speak of other thoughts, except positivity is swallowed by trepidation. I long to tell you of the battle I just fought, but right now panic is my only obligation. Thank you. Another day, and it's already been said, how does it work when I get out of this bed? The antiquated taunt of how bad it's become, overshadowing the fight for a battle that was once won. He knows me so well. Do you fancy a brew? He says as he switches over to rhythm and blues. A comfort like no other. How very English of me to find solace in one mug, in one cup of tea. The music washes over me. My eyelids drop slightly. Swaying left to right. I let out an almighty click of my fingers. My eyes are closed. Quick snap back to the room for I believe my mind's trick. He's dancing in and carrying a tune alongside the beverage made to improve my mood. Stewed to the colour his mum had once said, the colour of that wardrobe, son. It was ingrained in his head. The thanks was not lacking. It just wouldn't come out. Even that comfort this time couldn't fight the creeping in of doubt. I listen, but I don't hear. I look, but I don't see. That's a lie. I hear fear. That's a lie. I see debris. Left from all the times that this has happened before, I can't believe I could have run for the door. She says there's a reason for everything and it's all going to be grand, but babe, I'm an atheist and I don't believe in God's plan. I'm fading away so my expression will be deadpan, thrashing and kicking and scratching like a madman. It's not life-threatening. You're okay. It's going to pass. Let's take some breaths. Name five colours. How about glass? Ah, oh, water this time, because that tea just didn't suffice. Not offended against sweetheart, but sort out your life. It's a joke, and I know it. Recognition of words. How exciting to feel something other than shaking and nerves coming back down to earth with a whack. I'm tired, but that smile, and it's good to have you back. It will get better. Positivity is key. Paramount importance for me to be free, for me to be well again, for me to be me. Thank you. My Standing at six foot and one inch tall, stood as sturdy as a brick wall. A wall you can't believe would ever fall, but it did begin to crumble. First in small pieces and then all at once. We accompanied every trip and we felt every stumble. Apparently I got him through. Why can't I get me through? I'd have treated him differently if I knew then what I know now. I'm sorry I couldn't understand his desperation. I'm sorry I didn't fully appreciate his frustration. I'm sorry I didn't respect his uncontrollable vexation. I prayed, yet I didn't believe in a God. When I was asking for God's help, I felt like a fraud. My coping mechanisms were undeniably flawed. He says, I couldn't have done it without you. But only now do I feel I could truly help. Now I have an insider's view. I say, I don't want to do this anymore. He says, but honey, don't you remember what you told me before? You are destined to win this war because you are the only one in it. And that's how I know I can do it. Because when he rebuilt that wall, he rebuilt it higher and stronger than ever before. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>